Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Let's Get Stringing. In the previous video, I bought uh, three Blade 98s, uh, 16 by 19s. I was trying to figure out which ones to keep, and I uh, went over their initial spec measurements. I ended up keeping only just the middle one here. As you can see, it has uh, 306.8 before the uh, plastic wrap on the handle comes off, 31.4 centimeter balance and 290.5 swing weight. I thought uh, the, this set of spec has the best chance of reaching my swing weight target of 325 uh, when it's all strung up and ready to play. And um, also it would still leave me with enough room to do any possible future customization. And let's get this thing strung up. Okay, I got the racket mounted with the logo, uh, Wilson logo facing up. <clears throat> this racket has eight grommet holes in the throat. That's why we're stringing from the head. I like to use my go-to string <coughs> on a racket uh, for the first time. So I have a good reference, it's a familiar feeling. The tension that I'm using would be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 53 pounds, actually. The demo racket I used from Tennis Warehouse last week was the, The tennis only P the tennis only P6 string in a 1.3 millimeter. They strung that at 53 pounds and they had really good they have really good feel with control and ball pocketing. I would buy they're selling it for cheap online. I would buy that string if it wasn't for the fact that it's 1.3 gauge. Don't get me wrong, if play near perfect and I have very good um, tension maintenance. Since this is not a twisted string, it's a shaped string. Based on the light reflection here, I would I do my best to kind of untwist it. Even though they do sell twisted strings, I would just like to keep my strings untwisted, <clears throat> especially in the center of the sweet spot here. So I've been playing with this Hyper G at 48 pounds all through the winter on my Speed MP racket. And it, I was starting to feel as the weather warms up, that tension was a bit too low. I could not swing out confidently enough. So I was gonna up the tension to from 58 to above 50 anyways. And the reason why I'm doing 53 on this racket was is not only because of that P6 string I mentioned, it's also because the fact that the grommet and the grommet holes are all brand new, they're not 100% seated. So during your first string job with any brand new racket, as the grommets get seated from the force of the strings pulling, you're gonna lose some tension and therefore, therefore it's a good idea to string up uh, higher by a couple pounds. <clears throat> even on a constant pull machine like this.
This racket has its first ground mode skip for the eighth string. Uh, so you skip the eighth ground hole at the, here at the bottom as well as up top. Yep, that looks right. <clears throat> Eight skip. And we'll add 10% for the tie off knot. Crosses were starting in the eleventh grammar hole. On some bablets and uh, Wilson rackets, you have to pay attention to which side of the frame that you're supposed to start on because both sides aren't symmetrical. With these, you don't have to worry about either side. I tend to think ahead. Well, if this was a old frame that's been strung a few times already, I tend to pay attention to which tie off grommet hole is less beat up. And that is the, the, the uh, that is where I will be tying off my, my cross starting knot. In my case, I don't really use the star knot. I use the same knot, whether it be Wilson Pro knot or Parnell knot. I keep them the same because I use uh, starting clamps. I've explained it in my previous video. I won't go into here. Um, so yeah, I, I picked the grammar hole to use whichever grammar hole that's less beat up. So if that's the case, then I will have to, then that that determines which side I start stringing my crosses on, either the right side or the left side based on where I want, want my knot to end up for the cross tie off.
This Hyper G color is matching the the Wilson's uh, stable. These these stables right here, they're the same color. They match up quite well. Pulling the first string with uh, ten percent extra.
guys, in retrospect, I found out I should have kept the heaviest one of the three and not the lightest one. Why? Because I had only assumed that the plastic wrap uh, weighs two extra grams and I forgot to account for the stupid paper that they put inside, which is another 3.3 grams. So the plastic and the paper underneath total 5.3 grams altogether. And if you take off that from the 306.8, you get 301.5 grams left over. And that's uh, three and a half grams less than their 305 gram unstrung spec. So in retrospect, I should have kept a 308.7 gram racket because that would leave me 3.3.4 grams, which is much closer to the 305 gram unstrung spec. Even though that racket is a few units higher in swing weight, which will leave me with less room to customize in the future. See, this is long enough. I got one, two, three more straighteners. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll work. I just won't be able to pre-weave the last few. Probably won't be able to pre-weave 
this one entirely. We'll see. I'm gonna oh that was the last string I thought I had one more okay let me add 10% of pool on there By the way, I'm just tying it off in the hole next to the last grandma hole for the last cross, whichever number that is.
Very well. Definitely feels very tight. Feels 50 some pounds for sure. And I took it to my swing weight machine and measured the swing weight, and to my surprise, it only measured about a 322. That's not quite reaching the 325 target I was shooting for. And in order to achieve 325, I had to add about two grams worth of lead on uh, near the three and nine o'clock position. And uh, after everything said and done, by adding the, uh, removing the plastic and the paper and installing my favorite overgrip, seven gram overgrip and dampener. The spoon weight measured out to be about 326. And the twist weight is 13.17. I'm happy with those numbers for now. We'll just play with this spec for a while and hopefully I don't have to make any adjustments. And for you spec geeks out there with um, the swing weight, uh, weight balance and swing weight uh, numbers, I can enter them into an online tool and get um, other specs such as uh, MGRI and uh, recoil weight. Hey, thank you very much for watching. So happy stringing, happy playing. Take care.